Hello, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are. This is an image I'm just rendering. Oh, it's just finished, one minute and eight seconds. Um, there is um, several things to uh, discuss here. First of all, we have two spheres, as you can see, and they have reflections, like uh, yellow dots, like here. Here, this looks like there's a window somewhere and maybe here as well, maybe even here. And similar on this sphere, it's not totally the same as you see, but very similar really. And um, the central structure here, it's all done with a an Arnold uh, standard surface shader with a little bit of transparency here and translucency. And uh, here you see the rim in white that's the same as this one here. So it comes from that window sort of in impression. And we can look through the, it's a totally red shader, uh, we can look through certain sections and see something yellowish like here. Uh, so uh, it's a very interesting structure here which uh, distributes light all over the scene. How did I do this? Well, I used an HDR image. And um, HDR images, lo there are lots of free HDR, high definition um, R, what does it stand for? Um, the reference, probably. Um, there are lots out there in the Wiki Commons, for example. But there's also a site, a web page, which I want to show you. It's called HDR I Heaven. And uh, let me go back here. This is the scene I downloaded. Um, and uh, if, if we look at the... It's K-Lyle uh, or k uh, interior. And here you have several references on a uh, this kind of unshiny shader. It looks like, uh, well, a little bit of yellow on this side because of the light here, probably this one. And uh, the same here on this blue um, uh, shader. And you can download it totally for free without any registration um, in different res resolutions. And what you just saw is the lowest resolution, 1.6 megabytes, uh, 10,000 uh, pixels by 500 pixels. So not really big. I could have used this one as well, which I downloaded as well. And we'll try and find if we can see a difference. Um, one step back, lots of interior lightings here, all free, urban 64, like this. It's such a rich site and it does need sponsoring, I think, because every day is, uh, every image is free in all kinds of resolution. This is the category midday, 33 pictures. This is party cloudy here outside. This is a high contrast thing, which gives um, uh, low co low contrast l like this. So you can download it from this side, which is uh, called hdrihaven.com. And uh, you might want to support this, uh, this website, which is really great. And um, you see, uh, this is the starting point. And uh, uh, Greg Zahl, a CG artist who uh, says about himself he's an open source advocate, which I am indeed as well, uh, and he created all this. All HDRs here are in the public domain. No paywalls, accounts or email spam. Just download what you want and use it. However, that's uh, just great. Well, it's in action here. I'm going to close this window. Um, this is the reference scene here. Uh, uh, the structure here in the middle, the white thing, is from a, a fluid dynamic uh, simulation, which we don't discuss in this uh, tutorial. We've uh, talked a lot about uh, bifrost fluids in the past. Um, the key thing is only one light in the whole scene. It's the sky dome and a mapped color image uh, to a shader and that's the shader uh, in 1k HDR. Now um, let's apply the high resolution shader, the same thing in 16k. Um, takes a while to 
uh, get the preview here because it's such a big file it's 380 megabytes HDR you would only need such a high resolution if you want uh, to get really close to the uh, objects which reflect their environment but let's try this it's a huge file so be patient with Maya Okay, now it's here 16k and now we can start thinking about rendering I'm fast forwarding this because it really takes long now it's starting to render this is still the old scene and this is a new scene now It basically doesn't make a big difference here. Maybe more details in the lighting, the dots here, the yellow ones, and the structures here. But basically, as I said, you need a high resolution only in certain circumstances where uh, you look at detailed reflections and transmissions. We close the window and we load another image from that side a totally different one just to show you the difference uh, let's go back to that page browse the HDRs and we had an indoor uh, thing now let's go to a, a thing with cloudy skies well for example this one and uh, we'll download it in uh, say the 2000 um, resolution Photoshop asks me what kind of color space I wanted uh, so that's just fine so that's the image we have it's a surround image uh, 360 degrees so that's the cloud layers in 2k HDR and we open it the background image is being replaced now by the other one and when we render it it goes much faster and as you can see it's a totally different impression here much less vivid but we see an interesting rim here we see the horizon here on the spheres and we can of course rotate the background and when we rotate it like this or maybe even like this we get a totally different view of the whole thing you may ask why don't we see that background in the rendering well we can make it visible in the rendering I just made it invisible because uh, I think it distracts the view really in this case the whole sky dome is, um, is uh, performing like this but in some cases you might use it and might need it well you go to the sky dome light shape here and further down you see the visibility and I set the camera visibility to zero the default is one and you can see in the thumbnail here black in the background and the sky in the background now when we render it again we see that surrounding in the background and of course when we have a higher resolution now and we need a higher resolution for that we see the details of the grass and uh, here it's all blurry uh, which is quite all right for this purpose if you don't want to see the sky here or the surrounding image uh, finally I want to show you the scene without an HDR image so I break the connection for the color now now it's a gray background but I need some light here and then the scene looks like this which is not bad either but uh, totally different from what we've seen before so you can enrich your seen dramatically uh, by using background images 
HDR images and you can you have the choice of making them visible or only in the reflections and refractions visible instead of the whole scene and of course you can create under this light effect here you can always create a plane which you put in the background press and hold the key J so you can rotate it uh, in uh, uh, 90 degrees and uh, scale it up like this and um, move it to the back and give it a, a new shader on old surface a preset maybe the car paint and now let's delete the two spheres and let's render this again. Okay, and with a background image here back in the color, we use a file texture, we use an image name and we go for the interior lighting with 1K HDR and we render it again enjoy rendering with Arnold and HDR bye